you think these two teams want to play for a national championship? We're going to a fifth set. The second time this season that these two teams have played a five-setter, and they're looking for history. One of these teams will be the first ACC team to reach the national championship match. Winner will face Texas. Two big runs by Pitt. 12-6 run and then a 5-0 run to win that set. It's interesting, too. Louisville ended the third set on a 5-0 run to win. Pitt ending the fourth set on a 5-0 run to win it. Something interesting, Dan Fisher is going to put Serena Gray up front so that she can start in the uh, front row. They're going to start exactly how they did in Wisconsin when they won set five a weekend to go in the regional final. And he said, look, Rachel Fairbanks, your location hasn't been great all night, but how about this is the best your location is in set five. I don't think left back defense has been the greatest all night, but how about this is our best left back defense we've seen all night right here challenging his team and the players absolutely loved it. That's the kind of language they've used all season, Katie, is, hey, maybe we don't have the best, out maybe their outside hitter is better than ours, but maybe we're better tonight. Maybe we're their setter's better than ours, but maybe we're better tonight. They say high standards, low expectations, but they say we can beat anybody. We played a 15 points. Anna DeBeer starts off with a great serve. Chasse with the back set from Scott. Vasquez Gomez. Scott digging. Chasse. The swing, a little off speed, but it's pretty. In the middle of that play, Iko Jones went down. But Louisville able to recover, and Claire Chasse deep down the line for the kill. Attacking error, Vasquez Gomez. That one falls short. <laughs> Dalton with a bump to Vasquez Gomez. Clicka laying out. They'll go Basirio on the right pin. PK Kong. Timeout pin. PK Kong with eight blocks. What resiliency we've seen from Louisville. I mean, you think about they were up 16 to 10 in that fourth set. And then they allow Pitt to come all the way back. And then they trade points late in that set. And then they ultimately lose it. Great resiliency, great mental strength to come back clean and focus in here and get out to a 3 nothing lead. Now, Katie Louisville has actually started 3 nothing in the first set, the third set, the fourth set, and now here in the fifth set tonight. It helps, too, when you start with Anna DeBeer behind the service line. She's got such a great serve. I mean, I mean, you're talking about, as a coach, wanting 38 miles per hour to 42 miles per hour from a jump float serve. Anna DeBeer rockets that thing. It's got to be pushing 45 miles per hour, and she's still able to keep it in the court of play. That's what's so amazing about that serve. Now again, tying her career high tonight with five aces. If you're Pitt, though, you've got to flip the page because you're only going to 15 points, and it goes by in the blink of an eye. And Pitt has proved that they can respond, and we've seen it. So for Pitt, they've got to be confident that they can side out and go for a run on them for themselves. Anna 
De Beer digs that all the way up to the scoreboard. Chasse pushing with two hands. Raquel Lothra was pretty gutsy to take that ball with her hands, but it comes out a little too flat for Claire Chasse to attack. Heads up play to just push that to the deep corner. Chasse, 23 kills, hitting 404. Fairbanks on the move, the bump set to Vasquez Gomez, rejected! And this is the serving rotation that started so well in the first set. Anna DeBeer on the line, PK Kong and Iko Jones with a huge Louisville block at the net. PK Kong has a new career high, nine blocks tonight. Wokolo. No! Make that 10. Double figure blocks for PK Kong. Incredible. PK Kong owning the net, getting up quick in transition, knowing Wokolo likes to attack that ball. So smart knowing her opponent. Louisville started this match up 6-0, and now here in the fifth set, up 6-0, going to 15. But if you look at the fourth set, Pitt responded. Went on a 12-6 run, went on a 5-0 run. So it's very possible. I think Pitt is still a confident team. Absolutely, we've seen them tested. It just goes a little faster, but only to 15 points. P.K. Kong, but Danny Buskin Kelly said, you know, she was a bit of a late bloomer, was limited, limited with how much experience she got on the club scene, and then COVID happened. She redshirted. She just needed to gain that experience. She's got it and the confidence to go with it. Incredible. What a performance defensively at the net, but she's been clean offensively as well. 16 blocks for Louisville, and PK has 10 of them tonight. PK Kong so long, moving well laterally, making nice reads. Love the eye work and the, the quick press over the net defensively. Pitt has no more timeouts. Are you kidding me? Back bump set by Rachel Fairbanks to put Bazzario in a position to get out of this rotation. P.K. Kong is a magnet right now for the ball. She owns the net like no one else. Attack is long. It is eight straight points for Louisville here in the fifth set. And Dan Fisher is going to use that challenge card. Remember, you get an additional challenge in the fifth set. He does not have any timeouts, so also a good opportunity to regroup again. Definitely, and slow down the Louisville momentum. You're looking for a touch on this. The original call was no touch and that the ball was hit out. I'd love to see this from the baseline. Finger movement on the left hand of PK Kong. I think that shows it going past. It has to be obvious for them to overturn it. Correct. Haven't seen an obvious touch yet.
They confirm the call. No touch. Point Louisville, and we switch sides. They can taste history. Looking to be the first ACC team to play for a national championship. Confidence Fairbanks to Wokolo in a tough position down 08. Pat Flood rotates in one of their top servers. They go with Chasse on that set. That's the first combination play we've seen right there, and it works for Louisville. Running Chasse into the middle of the court, a little X play. Wow, that's a big call late in the match. It was a little bit of trickery. Serena Gray ends up jumping with a quick middle set, and it just leaves Claire Chasse wide open with a one-on-none. Hard to expect it when we haven't seen it tonight. Pull it out of the pocket. Amaya Tillman getting in on the block party. A new season high in blocks for Louisville. 18 team blocks. We talked about the dominant of the pit middle blockers, but Tillman and PK Kong having a huge night for Louisville. Casario coming to get it. Lothero pushing it to Iko Jones in. Elena Scott picking up that short tip down the line. Look at this ball. Gets under it, lifts it. Lothero pushes it to the right side, and Iko Jones goes deep corner for Louisville. A new season high for Elena Scott 27 digs. Another tough serve with Elena Scott on the back line. That ties her career high with five aces. A career high in digs, a career high in aces for Elena Scott. Hit, able to side out, get that ball back to Bazzario, but Bazzario's going to the back row. If you're just joining us, Louisville jumped out to an 8-0 lead here in the fifth set. One of the big runs for Pitt was with Bazzario on the back line. They need it now again. Playing to 15. Here comes Chasse. 25 kills. Louisville is feeling it, but they cannot relax against this pit team. Gomez. Lothar to Tillman on the slide. History for the Louisville Cardinals. They will play for a national championship.
first ACC team in the national championship match will be the Louisville Cardinals. What a battle we saw. Pitt fought back when their backs were against the wall when they were down to win that fourth set, but Louisville was way too much in that fifth set behind the tough serving. That was really the difference, and then the blocking from both middle blockers from Louisville. A season-high 19 blocks for Louisville. They had 10 service aces. The Pitt Panthers making their second straight appearance in the national semifinal. It's been a great season for them and just impressive the talent that they have on that roster. Well, they've proven that they're a national power now and they're in the conversation every year. This team has a lot to be proud of. It was a drama-filled third match between these two teams this season. We started the day with four teams in Omaha and now there are two. The national championship match, Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. We will see Texas and Louisville. It'll be a slugfest, I'm sure. It has been a pleasure to be with you from Omaha today. Two teams remaining. They'll play for a title in two days.